R21 is a game changer because it's a high efficacy vaccine targeting the youngest and most vulnerable children. Our partnership with the Serum Institute of India means that it can be manufactured at large scale and low cost to ensure it can reach as many children as possible and have a significant impact on them and their families in the long term living in malaria endemic areas. So we did our phase one in Kenya. That was the first testing of R21 in um, a malaria endemic area. And we basically looked at the safety of the vaccine and how the immune response to the vaccine worked. The vaccine was safe, it was well tolerated. And so following that, we started our phase two B trial in the Noro Burkina Faso, which enrolled 450 uh, infants aged five to 17 months. And there we looked at field efficacy and we measured at 12 months following the primary series of vaccinations and 12 months following a booster vaccination and we've actually even been testing additional booster vaccination. For the phase three we expanded it to areas of different malaria transmission so seasonal transmission but also perennial transmission so transmission all year round in high and low areas. So our countries for the phase three trial are Burkina Faso, Mali, Tanzania and Kenya and we are in uh, the second year of follow-up actually with our phase three trial. Our primary series of vaccinations is three vaccines four weeks apart and we aim to give a booster a year later. Uh, we are now working with the WHO uh, for all the requirements to try and achieve policy recommendation and pre-qualification to then help facilitate widespread deployment as soon as possible to really try and make a difference as well as discussing with the national regulatory authorities with individual African countries. And uh, we're very pleased to have recently received approval for use in Ghana and Nigeria. When you think about you know, the number of children in Africa, we do need to, and it's a four dose vaccine, we do need to ensure that we do have sufficient supply. And that's why also we had worked with the Serum Institute of India because for large scale manufacturing and also for low cost, so it can actually reach all the children that it needs to. And that's why I think R21 is really important and it's important to you know, be deployed as soon as possible, pending all the approvals, obviously. <laughs>